open a gas station here in Brookhaven. And bro, look at that. Am I already getting a customer? Holy cow, look at that guy. He's filling up his bike. <laughs> nice, bro. I think I should actually go into the shop here and stand behind the register. Because obviously, he'll have to pay for the fuel and all that good stuff. And look at what we're selling. We're selling hot dogs. We're selling cold beverages. We're selling snacks. And we even got signs. We're kind of selling everything in here. And bro, he's getting a Coke. One bag of crisps and a Coke and fuel. How much? Okay, so the fuel and Coke is 50 bucks. And if you want the crisps, is it going to be 55, I think? Yep, it's definitely going to be 55, sir. And boom, he just paid me. All righty. Thanks. Yep, bye. You have a good one, my man. So there we go. We just made a little bit of money. Nice. I didn't really see him grab any crisps, but it's fine, dude. It's fine. And I should probably even customize this place a little bit to make you kind of look more alive. So let's go to see what we can place. Can we actually place this here? Yeah, let's go to place some of this. And also, let's go to place, yeah, maybe some lights, dude, because it can get really darker in the night. So let's go ahead and put out the light here. That is really good. And maybe a light on this side as well. Just to make sure that it's properly lit up at night. So there we go. We need some, some of these. Just kind of like divide the traffic. And yeah, this is actually looking like a good gas station right now. And bro, I reached my prop limit already? Holy cow. I don't know. I guess we can remove this one and put out the fence here instead. So there we go. Okay, now it looks better. Perfect. And you know what? I can even remove one of these lights just to make a sign because I kind of want a sign uh, for the gas station that says that it's open. So let's go ahead and uh, type in gas station. Hold on, hold on. Open. Perfect. Now it says gas station open. No, gas station. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, now it's fixed up. And I think I just got another customer. So I filled up his car and he's standing inside of my shop. So I guess he's waiting for me to, yeah, stand at the cashier register here. One hot dog and fuel. Yep, that's going to be 30 bucks, my man, for the fuel and hot dog. Okay, perfect. He just paid me. And bro, we're doing some good business today. Holy cow, we're making money. I'm getting a lot of customers driving through. Uh, yeah. And uh, hopefully it will be uh, even better with the sign over there. Because now everybody know who is driving in the main way that the gas station is open for business. And look at that. We got a lot of lights going on. You know what? I think I actually might place some cones instead of that light right there. We need some more cones here, bro. I think this should be good. So let's gonna place this row of cones. Perfect. Because now it's kind of like separating the lanes a little bit better. Just make sure that nobody's crashing into each other. I think that is a good plan. Okay, perfect, guys. Now we just kind of have to wait for some more customers. And bro, I would say the day has been quite fast today. We've been getting two customers already. Really, really fast. People are actually buying the hot dogs. And bro, he forgot to close the fridge. Holy cow, dude. People gotta remember to close it or else all the drinks will become hot. Oh, man, look at that. We got a huge rig coming through. Whoa, bro. Okay, so this is definitely gonna take some fuel. Uh, that's gonna be like $200 worth of fuel in that thing. Can you wash my truck? Uh, sure, bro. I can do washing as well. Okay, so I'm not really sure when we started car washing, but I guess now. So let's go and take that fuel thing out of the truck and drive through the car wash. And bro, it's literally stuck. Are you kidding me, dude? I can't drive it. Okay, I'm not really sure why I can't drive it, but can turn on the car wash for this guy. And he's gonna pay extra for that anyways. There we go. The car wash is on and it's going to be driving through. And for the fuel and car wash, I think it's gonna be like 300 bucks in total. Like, it's definitely not cheap, dude. And there we go. He's driving around now. I think we just gotta collect our payments right now and see how much money we will make. Alrighty. That's gonna be 300 bucks, my man, for fueling and washing. Thank you very much. He just gave me $300. And that is the third customer of today. Bro, we're making so much money. Holy cow. And he even used the car wash. Not a lot of people are using the car wash here in Brookhaven. Kind of surprising, actually. And yeah, it says open on the sign. Can I actually change that? I'm not sure, dude. I think it's stuck to open. Yeah, it definitely is, bro. But I can stand with a sign. I don't really want to stand with a sign, though. Yeah, pretty good day over here by the gas station. Let's go to let everybody know that the gas station is open. So let's go to type it into the chat. Hopefully, I will be getting some more customers. Gas station open. Everyone come through. I think that is a good, uh, yeah, that's a good little ad right there. So yeah, everyone, the gas station is open. Everyone come on through. And bro, is that a tank pulling up to the gas station? Uh-oh. That is insane. What is this guy doing with the tank, dude? That's actually so crazy. He's gonna fill her up? I guess so, bro. Oh, dude, that thing gotta hold like a lot of fuel. I think this is gonna be like a thousand dollar worth of fuel up. Yeah, cool tank, bro. That is amazing, bro. You really pulled up with the tank to the gas station? Thanks, dude. How much will it cost? 
Uh, it will cost you like $1,000 to fill up the gas. Yeah, to fill up the tank with the gas. That is insane. Oh, bro. He literally just gave me a money bag. Holy mama. All righty. See ya. Yeah, bye, dude. You have a good one. You have a good one. And keep uh, protecting the country of Brookhaven, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there he's driving off with a full tank of gas. He just got from the gas station here. And bro, what was that all about? $1,000 and he just filled up a tank. That is insane, dude. How many customers have we gotten to? Day, I think like four customers in total, which is actually insane. And bro, we're getting yet another customer. Holy mama. Okay, he's filling up his nice. Is this a Cadillac? I think it is. Hey, sir, how's it going, my man? How was your day? Are you having a great day today or what? What's going on, my man? I said you guys got free fuel. Uh, we don't have free fuel. What are you talking about, dude? Uh, what is this guy talking about? Now you do. Huh, dude? Oh, man, he's stealing fuel. What's gonna get in my car, dude? We're gonna chase this guy down. Holy cow. Yeah, there is literally trying to steal fuel from me. There is, there is, there is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, why is this guy stealing fuel? I've been such a nice gas station employee today. And now we got people stealing fuel from me. Yo, bro, we can't let this happen. Uh-oh. Okay, so I guess we just gotta, like, chase this guy down and do, like, a citizen's arrest on him. I don't really know, man. Because I'm definitely not a police officer, but I'm just chasing down a criminal right now. And I'm not really sure if we do got any police officers I can call. Let's go ahead and chase on the phone. Do we got any police on duty? Let's go to see you. And why can't I click the call while I'm driving? That is so annoying, dude. The phone is not working. Uh-oh. And bro, look at that. His car is smoking now. Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get, bro. You're a trashy driver. And dude, it's just crashing into everything that we see. Yo, it's burning now. Where is he going? Where is he going? Oh, dude, it's really taking off now. I think he just lost a wheel as well. Whoa, man. Okay, so he lost a wheel and he's driving up here. Yo, he lost another wheel. It's gonna beat his car. Dude, just give up already. And no, he's not giving up. Whoa, man. Why did he got a gun? I don't know why I got a gun. I'm not really sure if I got a gun. I gotta look at my car. Okay, I think I found a gun in the glove box. So there we go. I got a gun now. We're in the middle of a shootout with the, yeah, with the fuel thief. Hey, hey, surrender, man. It's not worth it, dude. You don't want to get shot over some free fuel. And bro, I literally just shot him. Holy cow, dude. We got the criminal, man. Okay, drop the gun, dude. What are you even doing, man? Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Okay, let's go to put him in cuffs. This is going to be a citizen's arrest because this guy was just off the hook. Yeah, come with me, dude. Come with me. You're coming with me right now. All right, let's go to bring this guy over to the police station. I don't care if he's shot or not. This is actually some police work, so I guess I'll just have to jail him myself, and the police will have to do with this uh, criminal stupidity. Okay, there we go. Let's go to lock him in cell number two and leave him there for the cops. Holy cow, bro, and his car is even burning. I think we gotta head over to the fire station and grab a fire extinguisher and put out that car fire because that's not good at all. I don't want the community to burn up. I really like the community of Brookhaven Air and I don't want it to burn up or anything tragic to happen. So let's go to grab a fire extinguisher. There we go. It's on the wall right there. Perfect. And let's go to jump into my van again. Or is this a van? I'm not really sure if it's considered a van. It's probably like an SUV. Anyways, and let's go to put down this car fire. And bro, he was actually driving as the same car as me. It's a really nice car though. I don't know why he's stealing fuel if he could afford such a nice car. But anyways, the fire is out. That was a pretty hectic day as a gas station worker here in Brookhaven. But super successful though. We had a lot of customers and we even had to solve a fuel robbery. So yeah guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit the like subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.